Right now, it is time for us to check sports. Yes, it is. And uh, I guess I should go to the sports pages, right? <laughs> it would be helpful if I did that. So we'll do that right now. All right, there you go. Well, last night, um, it was Monday Night Football. <clears throat> and uh, Monday Night Football can be watched either on ESPN or ESPN2, where the Manning cast is. And the Manning cast was on target. On target last night. It is so much fun to watch. I can't watch the whole game. Uh, but I watch as much of it as I can. I enjoy it that way. Uh, they are so funny, and they, they're knowledgeable about football, and it's just a lot of fun to watch. That's all I can say. Uh, and <clears throat> so I watched the game, and while I was watching the game early on, okay, early on, it looked like... Um, New England was in trouble. Um, that's what it looked like, but that's not like what it was. <laughs> All right, uh, I came uh, back this morning and uh, took a look at the uh, score, and uh, Arizona fell to New England twenty-seven to thirteen. Now, I did see the horrible injury, which was a non-contact injury to the quarterback uh, for uh, the Cardinals. Uh, and it looks like it is a torn ACL. And it looks like that will really take him out of action until sometime in the middle of next season. So when New England raises their record to 7-6, and six, they bump the Jets into last place in the NFC East. And the Patriots now move up one spot. Arizona falls to four and nine. Four and nine. Um, so that's that. Uh, so we've got we've got um, one game for the week under our belt. And coming up, uh, of course, continuing on with Thursday night football because we have Monday night football. And then, of course, what do we have? We have Thursday night football. All right. <clears throat> All right. And uh, coming up on Thursday night football, if I can find it here, which I can't. Well, anyways, we've got Thursday night football. Here we go. <clears throat> here we go. And that will be the 49ers and the Seahawks. And the way the 49ers are playing, it looks good for them. Meanwhile, the Bills will take on the Dolphins this weekend. Uh, the Jets take on the Lions. That's going to be a tough game. The Lions are playing really, really well. And uh, our buddies, the New York Giants, Sunday night are taking on the Washington Commanders. After playing to an overtime tie at Giant Stadium, Giant Stadium, listen to me, the Meadowlands two weeks ago, uh, they'll get it on again. So we'll have to see what happens there. NBA yesterday, the Clippers over the Celtics 113 to 93. The Nets over the Wizard 112 to 100. Coming up today, the Celtics take on the Lakers. Tomorrow, the Knicks take on the Bulls. And then on Thursday, no local teams. On Friday, any local teams in action? Yep, the Nets take on the Raptors. Uh, and the Celtics will take on the Magic. And the Knicks will take on the Bulls on Friday night. So that is the NBA story. Um, we can go to NCAA college basketball. 
and some of the games that were played last night involving the top 25. Gonzaga at number 15, down to Northern Illinois, 88-67. Number 7, Texas over Rice, 87-81. Number 17, Mississippi State over Minnesota. Um, and when you look at uh, the rankings, uh, the way they... Uh, The Yukon Huskies are just having a fantastic season. Um, so, I mean, I think that um, they're number five in the rankings. Pretty amazing. And uh, it's funny because the women who normally are the ones that are, have a lot of injuries and they're falling in the rankings, UConn is ranking number third in the country. Number three. They're 11 and 0, 7 and 0 at home. It's uh, quite an accomplishment. It's early in the season, but there they are, the Yukon Huskies. The men ranked third in the nation. Nice to see. National Hockey League. Yesterday. Any local teams in action? Yes, the Rangers over the Devils 4-3. to three. Yesterday. I think they are the only local teams that played. And the Rangers are finally starting to wake up. Uh, the Bruins are in first place in their division. Uh, and uh, they're in first place by a lot, actually, uh, over the Maple Leafs. Uh, and uh, for, the, uh, for the Rangers <clears throat> in the Metropolitan Division, the Devils are in first place with 44 points. The Rangers have finally started to wake up. Uh, they're in fourth place and uh, with 35 points. <clears throat> they're finally starting to play. They've won four games in a row. It's been a, a very uneven, uh, not equal start uh, for the Rangers this year. We are still waiting to find out who the two players are in baseball that the Yankees are looking at. They're looking to add a couple of more players. Uh, they're looking at uh, a pitcher, a left-handed pitcher, Rondon, but he might be, you know, he's either going to have to bid against other teams for him, and they're looking for a center fielder. If they can get... <clears throat> If they can get the pitcher they're looking for, their staff will be in really good shape. Uh, out of the top four pitchers on their staff, <clears throat> they would have two lefties. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if they can get it. The Mets have done a great job this offseason. They, they really have improved themselves in a lot of different ways. Yankees, hey, they brought back Judge, which is great. And we'll have to see what else they can do. Uh, and also they brought back Rizzo. Um, we'll see what else they can do uh, to make things hopefully uh, a little better. So if they get in the, in the tournament of champions again, that they can beat the Houston Astros. Because <laughs> that is, has not been possible. All right, that is our check on sports this morning here on The Breakfast Club.